Hello and welcome to another edition of Sparky U Online. Sparky here. Wanted to show you real quick. Uh, I added in a color cheat sheet so that when you're pulling in wire, this will help you mark your wires to the corresponding numbers. As you can see here, you've got uh, black, red, blue as far as your facing is concerned on a 12208 volt three phase four wire panel along with your neutral. But uh, as you go down the line, 135 black red blue black red blue and it continues on down if you're in the middle of pulling wire and you get a little bit stumped and you're trying to figure out what color corresponds to what number there's an easy way to do that and all you got to do is divide six into the number the remaining number will be the color that you need any number with a remainder of zero will always be blue okay so in this example six divided uh, 6 going into 42 is 6 times equals 42 with the remainder of 0. 42 right there is blue. Okay, 6 into 28. So if you're trying to figure out what color 28 is, we'll go 4 times. It's 24 with the remainder of 4. You can go up and look at number 4 there is red. 6 into 23. We'll go 3 times. It's 18 with the remainder of 5. There's number five is blue. Down here, to take a quick look. Six going into 31. We'll go five times as 30 with the remainder of one is black. This seems pretty simple, and it actually is, but you'd be surprised how many panels that I get into and the wrong colors are on the wrong panel here. It plays havoc on you when you're making up your J boxes as well if the numbers aren't corresponding to your colors. You're, you're going to second guess whether the neutrals are. Uh, correct in your phasing. Now you can take 1, 3, and 5 and share that with the neutral on a three phase panel or you can take 3, 5, and 7 and share that with a neutral as long as there are three different phases sharing that neutral. So this color chart will help you out a little bit. You can lay this up next to your panel while you're making it up and just kind of double check real quick. Um, let's say you um, running through and you pull up a uh, wire mark 35 and it happens to be red uh, it could give you an indication there could be a problem there okay now I'm gonna scroll up here a second and what I've got up here is um, you know I've known this for I've been doing this for 30 years I know this and I know the colors just by going off the top of my head most seasoned electricians know this as well but I've also met uh, guys that have been in the trade for 10 or 15 years that don't know how to do this and how to wire to mark their numbers correctly okay so you can print these out and um, you can even downsize them and laminate them and use them right next to your wire cart now you can do the same thing on your 277 480 volt three phase four wire you got brown orange yellow also known as boy and then your neutral Okay, your remaining number down here, if it's a zero, will always be yellow. And I have the same formulas down here as far as orange, yellow, and brown as far as figuring these out. Um, it's actually very convenient to have one of these, especially when you're just making up a panel. Like I said, you set it right next to it, and um, if there's any discrepancies in there, you can step back a second and make sure that everything was pulled in correctly.